Mr. Clown here from Clown Maths. So today we're going to look at what has the SQA changed in National 5 Maths this year? There's been a massive document just came out last night and you might have seen it yourself and you're wondering what does it all mean? Here's my take on it. First of all, let's look at numerical skills. Rationalise the denominators with suds is out. Simplifying suds is still in. And if we look at laws of indices, we have got fractional indices are out, but the standard laws of indices times and dividing, adding, subtracting are all in. Rounding to significant figures are still in. Let's look at the next thing. If we look at percentages, most of the percentages are still in. The only little change there is depreciation is out. So appreciation is in, but depreciation is out. Fractions is in. Fine. Algebraic skills, this is where it starts to get quite big. So working with algebraic expressions involving brackets, most of the bra expanding bracket stuff is in, except this one here, AX times BX plus C is out. I don't know why. Next one we've got is combinations of factorising. So you'll still get asked to do all your factorising, common factor, difference of two squares, trinomials, but you won't get asked to do a question with a combination of all them in at once. Reduced an algebraic fractions in its simplest form is still in. Applying the four operations to algebraic fractions, that's in too. Okay, straight line stuff. This is quite a big one as well. You will not be asked to identify the gradient and y-intercept from various forms of an equation of a straight line. What does that mean? It means something like ax plus by equals 3. You'll not be asked what the gradient and y-intercept is at that point. You'll still have to work out the gradient and y-intercept yourself from your own equations, just not from a given equation or graph. What else is out? Well, if we look at simultaneous equations, you'll, not, you'll still be asked to solve them, you'll still be asked to make them, but you won't be asked to do a graphical solution. You won't be asked about the point of intersection between two lines. Changing the subject of a formula. Well, you'll be asked to do ones involving a square or square root, but you won't be asked to do ones where it's just ax plus b equals c. So that's out. Let's move on. Let's look at our quadratics in more depth. So you'll be asked, not be asked to recognise the determine the equation of a graph, a functional form its graph. You will not be asked to sketch a quadratic function from completed square form. You will be not asked about the axis of symmetry. You will have to still solve a quadratic equation. You have to use the quadratic formula. And now this is where we get a little bit tricky. Using the discriminant to determine the roots. What the SQA said here was, you will not be asked to use the discriminant. That's a little bit unclear. So, in theory, you could be asked to work out the discriminant. You may even be asked to work out the nature of the roots. But you won't be asked to use the discriminant to work out, maybe say, a unknown quantity. So that's a little bit unclear. But I would say, even on the side of caution, if I've seen using discriminants out, chances are we won't ask about the discriminant. So I would be happy enough to cross that one out with the, you know, caveat that this is what the SQA say. Moving on. Geometric skills. So, determining the gradient of a straight line given two points. Circle geometry. Let's look to see what's out here. Well, first thing is, calculating the area of a sector is gone. All this stuff on this page is already gone. We were never doing similarity, we were never doing vectors, so we just cross that out straight away. Trigonom trigonometric skills. So let's look at what we can do. Well, with graphs, we'll still be asked to do trigonometric graphs, but we won't be asked to do vertical translations, so that's when it's up or down, adding a number, or we won't be asked to do ones where it moves left or right. So we can still be asked to do multiple graphs or where it's stretched. And if we look further down the page, we will not be asked to find the distance or the direction using bearings. A big one there, bearings is a, is a topic that a lot of people found struggle with. Okay, stats. Another contentious one, this. The SQA said you will not have to compare data sets using the interquarter range. What we did not say was you would not have to work out the interquartile range. Again, anyone on the side of caution, I would say that since I've mentioned interquartile ranges out, 
we won't want to upset anyone and I would say that chances are we won't ask you to find them to go to the range. So I would cross that off with the caveat as before of what the SQ have said. The last one, from the linear equation model, given a set of data, you'll not be asked to find the line of best fit from a scatter graph. So that is out. And there's a little caveat there. It's possible, though unlikely, you could still be asked to calculate that into quarter range. OK, let's recap. What is in, we've just went out, what's out? What is in National 5 Maths? This is the source for this is the Maths Checklist. Check it out, great site. So, rounding decimal places, significant figures. We've got our SUDs, basic SUD, supplication, multiplication, division, addition and subtraction. We have got indices. All the laws of indices is normal except fractional indices. Standard form, two and form, standard form, calculations with standard form, expanding double brackets, expanding double brackets where there's a two by two and then three terms, and then of course expanding and simplifying single brackets as well. Factorising, common factor, difference of two squares, trinomial, all trinomials, anything at all we could ask you with factorising except we're not going to ask you to combine. So you'll not be asked a question about let's do a difference of two squares and then something else or let's take a common factor and then a difference of two squares, that won't happen. Okay, you'll get asked to complete the square, not a problem. Simplifying algebraic fractions, multiplying and dividing, adding and subtracting, that's still in. Gradients, the gradient formula is in. Calculating the length of an arc of a circle is in. Maybe find the, the angle, the radius of a diameter will be in. All your volume stuff's in. Um, stuff about being able to find the equation of a straight line, find the gradient, find the y-intercept using y minus b equals mx minus a, knowing that parallel lines have the same gradient. Basic function stuff is in. Solving equations, equations with brackets, forming your own equations, solving equations with fractions, solving inequalities or inequations, that's all in. Solving linear simultaneous equations is in, either by substitution or by elimination. Changing the subject of a formula is in, as long as it's got a square or a square root. Quadratic graphs, known as where the minimum and maximum turning point is and what it looks like. Solving them by factorising, quadratic formula sketching quadratics if they're factorised already and forming your own quadratic equations and solving them. As discussed with the next one, nature of the roots probably out, though here is what may be in if it is in at all. Angles and polygons and circles is in. Converse of Pythagoras, Pythagoras' theorem and circles is in. Using the distance formula, working with Pythagoras in three dimensions. Trigonometry, we've got trigonometric equations and identities, that is in. So we've got triangle trig, using the sine rule, the cosine rule, um, and then percentages, appreciation is in, and reverse percentages is in. Fractions, all the standard fraction stuff is in, and subtract, times, divide, mixed numbers. And with stats, again, the SQA said that Comparing data using interquarter ranges out, but you could still be asked in theory to find the interquarter range. So I've left that in, and obviously, mean and standard deviation is there as well. One last bonus here is an analysis of all the National 5 past papers from 2014. Everything in green you can do, anything crossed out, you don't have to do, it's not in this year's exam.